Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Nina and this is going to be yet another pick a card reading to see what's happening for you in the next 7 to 10 days. This is a weekly energy forecast. So we have three groups as usual in front of us and we have Sunstone as the first group, we have Swordlight as the second group and the third group is Selenite. In this upcoming week, although this is a timeless reading, um, we do have a new moon coming up in the sign of Libra, which is on September 25th, I believe. So watch out for that. A great time to set new intentions. And Libra energy is air energy and it's all about partnerships, balance, harmony, justice, fairness and our equation with others so those themes might be highlighted in this uh, reading as well okay so let's get started i'll see you in your timestamps pile number one we've got sunstone let's go let's see what is coming up for you in the next seven to ten days i'm hearing personal priority personal I feel like you're putting yourself as your first priority this upcoming week okay perhaps that's something that you haven't been able to do okay <laughs> that was quick so we have the key the ring and the man okay interesting bottom of the deck we have the lily so the lily is, a, is also a symbol for peace and harmony and uh, a good equation with others and that is that seems to be the theme like I said for this upcoming week as well as this whole Libran season. So we have the key, the ring and the man. This is clearly about a relationship with a specific person. This doesn't have to be romantic. It could be any sort of relationship. It could be a business partnership. It could be, um, you know, some kind of a contract agreement that you have with this person. Or it could be a soul contract with someone who is quite significant and important at this time in your life. Okay, especially with the key there. This is someone of importance. This is someone who's also kind of fated or destined to be in your life at this time and they are playing an important role. So this week, this relationship is being emphasized and highlighted for you. Now this man, like I said, could be anyone. It could be a friend, uh, it could be a lover, it could be um, a father figure, it could be anybody in your life. And if you are a man, this could even be you yourself committing to yourself, okay? Because the commitment or the promise of a relationship is in focus here, all right? Let's see your tarot cards. But the key is a really positive card to get. So this is a successful contract, agreement or relationship, okay? A blooming relationship, you could say. Wow. So speaking of um, relationships, we have the lovers, the lovers, we have the five of pentacles, okay. Hmm. And we have the ace of cups, okay. So the lovers was originally called the choice, okay. And in this case, there is a choice to make there is some kind of a decision that is impacting this relationship or it is a decision about this relationship do you want to give it a shot or not do you want to renew the connection if it has been severed or not do you want to come together into union and you know bring in fresh uh, energy and a sense of um, restoration to the connection or not okay because in this case i feel like there's a possibility for a reunion to occur 
because the five of pentacles often is about a sense of separation either from the self when we feel rejected by our own selves or by the universe that's how we feel um, it's a card of poverty consciousness as well but in this case because the relationship is highlighted either you or this other person or both of you perhaps have been feeling a bit left out in the cold or you've been feeling a sense of separation between you and the other person and with the ace of cups there there is a a chance to renew the connection to bring it back into balance and to sort of you know recommit to it if this has been severed because the key along with the ring is a really strong combination for that you know for a strong promise or a strong commitment to take place but again there is a choice to be made here there is a decision at hand here okay so you could be dealing either with a gemini or a cancer pisces scorpio and we've got earth sign energy as well so taurus virgo capricorn so it is quite possible that the initiation of this takes place because of this person okay this man or this woman in question uh, is the one who initiates and brings in this offer of love of uh, connection of partnership all right let's see other cards okay we've got faff the footer a reminder to stay grounded and connected to the earth to stay practical okay and take your time to go slow We've got Treasure Island, number nine. We've got Happy Family, number four. And this card reminds me of like the Ten of Cups, okay? And we've got Envy, okay? Let's put these here. So, Envy uh, is like the whole idea of you know maybe the grass is green on the other side for some of you i hate to say this but if this is someone returning from the past okay there could be a situation whereby someone left the uh, other person high and dry or left them out in the cold and or uh, they decided to take a chance elsewhere or for whatever reason they were perhaps not able to prioritize the connection um, this time around they are coming back with a renewed sense of hope realizing that the grass is not greener on the other side and that what they have is really amazing is really worth uh, committing to it's worth waiting for it's worth renewing okay or worth investing in either way there is something beautiful arriving okay into your life and it definitely has something to do with a relationship um, either a professional relationship or a uh, a love relationship or a friendship even okay it doesn't have to be a lover per se but we do have the lovers here and uh, this is kind of, you know, this whole situation is reminding me of, uh, you know, like this. It's the story that I'm getting here is that there is a reconnection, a reunion taking place. Okay, at least the possibility of that. And this card here, again, she's wearing these robes which are um not that fancy looking right but she's carrying a lot of coins in her hand and she's wearing pearls she is actually really well to do but the whole thing about envy is that we we fail to sometimes recognize and appreciate what we have with ourselves and we tend to look on the outside for more or for validation even okay and that is the lesson I feel 
um, that this person has gone through during this process of separation okay and at the heart of all of this is a choice and I feel like it lies in your hands uh, the key is in your hands okay do you want to open the door or not uh, do you see this happy family or this beautiful connection or the promise of um, uh, an amazing partnership with this person or not okay and if it is a family member uh, you do want to keep in mind that they do perhaps um, somewhere they feel perhaps that you are too good for them or there is some hidden envy um, they feel perhaps that they are not worthy of you or that they are less than you in some way okay and that may be something that is playing out in your connection like an undercurrent but of course they're not going to make it too evident because it will it will hurt anybody's pride right to do that so that is what is being highlighted here but with the treasure island card there this is telling me that um, this can turn into the situation can turn into something really beautiful and there is an opportunity here again with the key and a promise with the ring okay we have okay freedom of choice yeah you do have freedom of choice your choices are yours to make don't allow others to make your choices for you pretty straightforward and the colors are quite similar to the colors in the lovers card there okay interesting and it is a number two card which is again about decision making and choices and partnerships as well so this is an important week whereby you're given an opportunity i feel for a reconnection or a reunion or because i feel like you know this person okay that's why i'm using the words re the terms re and also we are still in this mercury retrograde uh, period so it is um, very much in the air you know the possibility for reconnection and yes stay grounded and stay practical make the, the make the decision from a practical point of view as well keeping your needs forward and letting them know what uh, your requirements are as well okay and your advice is wind activation in this case i feel like because this uh being this person is blowing the wind through his mouth i f i feel like the message here for you is to focus on your throat chakra air energy again voice your thoughts pay attention to your speech and make it really clear really known okay what and address the issues that are at the heart of the matter which perhaps haven't been addressed before okay um, all right let's get some cards for relationships and love although most of your reading has been about that but there is something really good on its way to you okay let's see what does group number one need to know about relationships and their love life? Oh, interesting. Let's get one more. And that gets this one. Okay. We have back to what you love. Re-evaluate your desires. Again, re-evaluation, reconnection which can turn into rejoicing as well okay the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love and this card almost always means uh, a choice to me okay with this crossroads depicted here mm, this diversion so you do have a choice to make here make it out of love and we have demonstrate love find out what is most important to those you love and act on it act on it actions are important wind activation 
okay so it's an active week in that sense that um, don't feel pressured to make the the choice or the decision but I feel like you will be doing that during this week and we have romance at the bottom of the deck lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection so that is what I have for you group number one I hope this was useful I hope you have a lovely week ahead do take care of yourself and I'll see you again later bye bye hi pal two for those of you drawn to the soda light Let's take a look at your reading. We'll start with Lenormand cards. Let's go. What do we need to know for group number two for the upcoming week? Okay, we have the moon. And we do have a new moon. And it's lingering energy during this upcoming week. What else do we need to know? Pile number two. Okay. Ooh, I kind of knew where this was heading, but it is obvious now. The moon has a lot to do with your feelings and of course our subconscious mind, our psychic self, our higher self, our feelings and emotions. And um, in that sense, it is very similar to the moon card in tarot. But because of these other cards uh, here, that is the meaning that is coming through most strongly. You have the moon, the letter and the heart. This is clearly a heartfelt message that is coming towards you. Okay, And with the key at the bottom of the deck, this is perhaps the beginning of something new. The key opens up a door, so it's an opportunity for something new. And... We'll see how this goes, but this seems to be quite promising and doesn't necessarily have to be in case of love, but it's definitely something that is really close to your heart, something that you have perhaps been pining for, okay, you've been hoping for, wishing for, and uh, that's the kind of message or text or email or whatever that is coming towards you, okay. For most of you, I feel like it is like a confession or a heartfelt message coming towards you. Okay. <laughs> so speaking of heartfelt messages, we have the Page of Cups. Um, we have the Seven of Cups and we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. We've got Aries Leo Sag. This is... To me more of a Sagittarius energy, very quick, quick witted I want to say but also very quick moving, very very adventurous and passionate and charming, uh, someone quite young or at least holds that kind of energy, okay, someone who's very enthusiastic, can be a little bit overbearing sometimes, you know, because um, they come in uh, really quickly they rush in and they can be quite impulsive and that's perhaps why you have the seven of cups here because even though this is a really heartfelt and sweet kind of message that is coming through uh, it could be either you know a message indicating that they're interested in you or it could be um, it could be a promise, you know, or an apology from this person. Either way, it is definitely heartfelt, okay. And it's like because this person comes in uh, and rushes in with a woof, you know, it's like uh, <laughs> um, there's a cloud of smoke that appears as a result of that. So what I'm getting here is... There is a bit of confusion that this uh, person creates, okay, or this situation involves, okay, let's put it that way. So, even though it is really heartfelt, it is sincere, uh, it can be a bit 
too dreamy okay again with the moon there in combination with the heart this is a really dreamy combination so this could be someone who's really idealistic or they fantasize a lot about you and that's you know perhaps why they're so passionate towards you as well but there is a sense of idealism or illusion also at play here so you might want to watch out for that because the seven of cups is this very head in the clouds kind of energy you know oh this is possible and that is possible and this is why not this and why not that you know uh which is great when you're in that dreamy uh state it's also a great state to manifest from but when uh you really want to make a choice or a decision about something that is long term in the here and now you want to sort of ground yourself and you know come back to earth so to speak okay let's see your other cards here we've got the green woman number 23 now she's got this very wild playful childlike not sort of not really childlike but more of a young adult uh, adventurous sort of energy okay pretty much like the knight of wands here so this i feel is the energy of the person that you're dealing with they are a bit of a wild child or someone who's a bit unpredictable and so you know you can't sort of catch hold of them um they in uh, they they out they hot they cold that kind of energy so if if this is uh about love you know you it's it's really easy to get carried away by the charms of this kind of a personality but uh let's see your other cards here <laughs> look at this. this is all about love not surprised cuz libra is is ruled by venus and we have a new moon in libra like i said in the intro this week so it is all about relationships and love okay looks like you're opening your heart to this person oh my goodness what is this group number 2 look at this woman holding a heart angel of love you're being hit by cupid's arrow it seems this week okay love is in the air for sure for you okay we've got thinker okay yeah so finally um you somewhere need to make sense of the situation as well that is where you're being advised to not have your head in the clouds like i said initially to balance it out with your lo- logical side as well although uh coming from me it it is quite uh um yeah it, it's a bit much coming from me cuz uh, i'm also not like that i'm not the most logical person but it it really helps to to stay grounded and to stay um clear headed about what you want especially because sometimes in this kind of a situation you know if you're especially if you are empathic and you are a giver you can get swayed so easily that it all becomes about this equation this connection this relationship this romance whatever it is in your case okay so try not to make it all about that and get too swayed by this person's charms and we've got vibrational match okay you are sending out new signals that are bringing forward positive new experiences so that's good it's a number 10 which is an ending and a beginning and i feel in your case this is definitely the beginnings or the promise of something new that is emerging for you and if nothing else you know um you may be just getting out on the dating scene texting people you know exchanging messages and numbers or whatever and you're having a gala time doing that you know go wild do that by all means and but keep in mind that um uh, you want to attract the right kind of people towards you 
and based on what you are looking for in a relationship especially okay because uh, this week i feel like you are actually opening up to the idea of romance of love of dating of you know uh getting swept off of your feet um going salsa dancing or whatever so this is um a week that is really focused on on love okay and what is your advice we've got dragonfly emergence so this is a pretty quick um change i feel that is occurring in your life okay a change for the better and with this dragonfly energy here again there's something really magical in the air when this occurs uh, dragonflies have these iridescent wings and they have a short life span um so it's very quick again the energy so with the knight of wands the green woman the dragonfly energy this is very quick energy okay so you could definitely be um <laughs> swept off of your feet and a bit perhaps taken aback by how how quickly things uh you know um how quickly things start to speed up in this connection and it is quite possible that it's it's like fire you know it's like with this little bit of a spark um well in that in your case i don't think it's little bit i feel like the chemistry is of the charts um there's it's setting off a big fire <laughs> in your heart okay so Congratulations in that case. I'm really happy for you. Just remember to also balance it out with um a sense of rationalism and not get too carried away by idealistic uh future scenarios, okay? So, let's get some messages for you. Act as if your partner is here. <laughs> get to know each other that's nice interesting i mentioned sals are dancing it looks like they are dancing in this card here this is a week to get to know people at a deeper level love who you are you are divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer that's beautiful and at the bottom of the deck we have speak the language of love loving words have the power to change lives including your own and there will be a lot of love messages um texting back and forth a lot of communication that is heartfelt a lot of expression of your emotions and feelings and ideas and thoughts and dreams and what not really dreamy week for you <laughs> okay so those are your messages group number 2 I'm happy for you. Um have a lovely week ahead and I'll see you again later. Bye bye. Hi group 3 for those of you drawn to this soda light. I'm sorry the selenite. <laughs> Let's take a look at your reading. We're going to start with the Norman cards. What does group number 3 need to know? Let's go. What do we need to know for group number 3 for this upcoming Seven to ten days for this upcoming week. Also, what does group number three need to know? Okay. So the cards are quite reluctant. Okay, we we'll take that one. All right. We have the bouquet, the moon. Ooh. seems to be the theme this week uh cuz the other two groups also were well <laughs> really focused on love on fl flirtation on attraction and i think that's the case with you as well okay first of all i feel like you're going to feel really attractive okay and your image especially you know the way you look and all of that is you're going through a glow up i believe especially when it comes to your physical appearance okay you've got 
the bouquet, the moon and the rider. So there is definitely some news, communication or somebody perhaps entering your life. And uh, I feel like this is again connected to attraction, to feelings. The moon has this dreamy um, quality to it and it is also about our feelings, our hopes. And in this case, I feel like there's a strong attraction and chemistry between you and another person. And you may be receiving some news, some communication from this person or they may even travel to see you or you may be traveling to see them. Okay, that is definitely being highlighted here. But it's short distance travel. It's not really long distance. Or there's some news or communication. Okay, and with the fish there, in this context, it's got a very sexual energy to it. Okay, so it's got a lot of attraction. Um, in some cases, this could be the return of somebody. Okay, let me just put this out there. And this is like a, a promising sort of arrival on news. Okay, and this person may even gift you something really beautiful. And at the very least, you're going to be in this really charming, beautiful, attractive energy yourself. Okay, so this is a good week to put yourself out there as well and flirt and get back on the dating scene if that is what you're seeking. Okay, we've got the Five of Wands, okay, and the Knight of Cups and the Three of Wands. So incidentally, we have the Three of Wands beneath the rider both are connected to travel okay so this person could be coming in from a distance or they may be sending you a text or a message or this news is coming from a distance okay for many of you this is a really straightforward um, message here of somebody who you have had strife with maybe you had a fallout with maybe you had some arguments with some conflicts you weren't on the same page for whatever reason perhaps you had some ego clashes um someone like that is coming back around to apologize to you to make amends okay and they are looking towards the future they are looking towards how do we expand or how do we grow this connection? How, where do we go from here? You know, that kind of an energy is what they're coming in with. Um, again, with the Rider and the Knight of Cups, this is a really, really charming person, you know, kind of like the Knight in Shining Armor. And uh, even though he is wearing an armor, uh, his face is visible in the Knight of Cups. And uh, of course, he puts his heart on the line. So it may be a bit difficult also, I feel, for this person to um, maybe put their pride aside and either confess their feelings to you or, um, you know, apologize to you if that is the case. Either way, there is a heartfelt offer, a gift or a message or communication coming towards you this week okay and it is possibly coming from a distance and it could be something that you have actually been waiting for you have been waiting to get on the same page as this person perhaps to resolve perhaps a fight that you've had with this person okay we've got death yeah okay so some of you I feel like you may have ended things with this person okay either way the situation is going through a, a massive change a transformation we've got a loyal heart number 35 we've got the temple path and we've got the thinking man okay so whenever this card comes up um, it tells me that this person is first of all they have put in a lot of thought into what they should carry with them or in other words how they should portray themselves um, 
what do they bring along you know is, is their offer worth considering or not is it um is it something precious or not in other words they're thinking about whether you'll accept this cup of theirs or whatever it is that they are proposing to you whatever they are offering to you or not but i certainly get the strong feeling that this person is um it's been difficult for this person to to change or to put their pride and their own hurt and their own ego um story you know whatever story was playing out in their mind aside and come forth because i keep hearing you know there's a lot online so it's almost like they're taking a risk by opening up to you again or by opening up to you if this is the first time and by being vulnerable okay so it's taken them a long time i feel to arrive at this decision this conclusion that i need to give this a shot i need to give, give this a chance and i need to put my heart on the line okay because that's what i keep hearing and with a loyal heart there this is somebody that you can trust or at least that is the intention you know to uh build trust with you to build a friendship with you to be loyal in a sense to be committed to you or to think long term and they are part of your spiritual journey okay so you may have undergone some kind of a spiritual lesson also uh through this process if this is the return of somebody um and they have had to i feel like they are being intuitively nudged and guided towards you okay um it's like if you've undergone a separation they have it was meant to be that way they were meant to part ways with you in order to change to transform as a person and come back as a renewed person or to undergo those uh lessons and inner turmoil or inner challenges to face their own uh, you know shadow you could say and then come back to this connection with the energy that it deserves okay that kind of uh message is what's coming through then we've got you are worthy it is time to stop feeling unworthy unloved and undeserving okay so that's a message for you the viewer i feel okay because it's not just this person but you as well who has gone through or is going through a lot of changes okay a lot of in a transformation as a result of coming into contact with this person okay and that's what relationships do to us they help us grow and they evolve and i feel like you have evolved as a person so this is just a reminder to stay in that elevated state of consciousness to know that you're worthy and deserving okay uh, of love of romance of friendship whatever it may be okay and your advice is dream time creation i f- i feel like this is um this can lead to something good okay and besides that with the bouquet and this card here this is also about following your heart okay following what you desire to do whether that is going beyond your uh going beyond what is known to you and exploring new horizons as we see with the three of wands there or exploring your gifts and talents in a way that you haven't done before this is also talking about loyalty commitment to yourself and to your dreams the knight of cups is a dreamer and he is somebody who creates in this dreamy state okay which is highly creative it's the energy of artists musicians poets and people who are definitely in tune with their 
higher self with the intuition whatever you you want to call it and with their creative power okay and that is what they turn into whatever they are creating so this is a week where not only are you exploring your own gifts and talents and you're in this beautiful creative energy but also i feel like there is some romance some love in the air possibly from um someone from the past okay let's see what do we have for group number 3 in terms of relationships and love any more messages also as a another message here you know dream big that's what i'm getting here for you don't think that any dream is too big for you or you're not you feel you know sometimes we, we pedestalize things we pedestalize our desires and dreams you're being called to uh step out of that limited mindset okay to know that you deserve um all of that okay if it is for instance even fame and uh, success you know go after it you don't need to play it small be authentic be real and true to who you are and how you feel what else do we need to know for group number 3 back to what you love reevaluate your desires okay some of you could literally go back to doing what you have loved doing before okay and it may seem a bit unconventional or a bit risky to you but you're being you're also being told to put your heart on your li- on the line okay and we have i love you these are powerful words appreciate this moment every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love i do feel like love is a strong possibility for you this week and it may be an air sign as well gemini libra aquarius but doesn't have to be um we've also got aries leo sag there and cancer pisces scorpio i feel like it's a mixture between water sign energy and fire or air energy but either way there is a strong possibility that somebody is now being authentic about their feelings towards you and this card is kind of like a mercury retrograde card for me reevaluate your desires back to what you love it could be someone returning from the past but doesn't have to be but yes um love is a strong possibility for you and a confession uh someone being vulnerable and open um with you that's very much a possibility so those are your messages group number 3 i hope this helps and i hope you have a lovely week ahead do take care of yourself and i'll see you again later bye bye